tomorrow's headlines today. Good afternoon, Klamath Basin. It's Thursday, September 13th, 2018. I'm Kurt Lidke with the Herald and News. Here's a preview of stories that you can find in tomorrow's edition of the Herald and News. These are tomorrow's headlines today. The dispute over sale of the Tule Lake Airport lands to the Modoc Tribe of Oklahoma will now move to a court-supervised settlement discussion later this month in hopes of finding a resolution between the city of Tule Lake, Modoc Tribe, and Tule Lake Committee, a group comprised of survivors and families of the Tule Lake segregation camp that once housed thousands of Japanese Americans during World War II on the site that the airport now occupies. The lands were sold in July with the Tule Lake Committee filing suit in August. A recent letter submitted by the FAA stated no opposition to the sale, as long as the lands continue to be maintained as a public airport. After coaching the Triad volleyball team 10 years ago, head coach Sarah Turnage is back to lead the Timberwolves this season. Turnage and the Timberwolves will host Chiliquin at 5.30 p.m. today. Triad is still in search of its first Mountain Valley League win, while the Queens hold a 1-3 league record. The Klamath County School District Maintenance Supervisor and Project Manager is leaving the area and the district November 2nd to pursue new opportunities. Justin Azevedo joined the school district in 2012 and was a key player in managing a $31 million voter-approved facilities bond to build a new Henley Elementary School and perform major upgrades to schools throughout the district. Azevedo grew up in Klamath Falls and owned Fairway Plumbing before selling the business in 2011. Under his tenure, the school district completed 41 projects funded by the facilities bond, including the new school. Cool. A group that's quietly been assisting with projects aimed at improving conditions for wildlife at the Heart Mountain National Antelope Refuge in Lake County wants to raise its profile and, they hope, recruit more volunteers. The Friends of Heart Mountain has existed for several years. The number of members and member participation in refuge projects has fluctuated over time, though. During the group's recent annual meeting in Bend, Julie Weichel of Baker was elected president and Sally Fitzgerald of Lakeview, vice president. Members are wanted to assist with a variety of tasks, including work projects done in coordination with refuge staff. A nationwide Adams Publishing Group survey is now available on heraldandnews.com seeking your input on if you intend to vote in the midterm elections and if so, how you plan to vote. Results of the 10-question survey will be published next week. And those are just a few of the stories you can find detailed in the Friday, September 14th Herald and News. Be sure to follow us online via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, and of course, heraldandnews.com. You can also subscribe to our podcast on iTunes and Google Play Music. Be sure to check back each day for the latest podcasts, videos, and breaking news impacting the Klamath Basin. And thanks for listening. 